Former President Jacob Zuma's daughter, Duduzile Zuma Sambudla, has expressed distrust in the National Prosecuting Authority regarding the investigation of the leak David David by GLD former VBS Mitchell Bank chairperson Shefiwa Matodzi. On Friday, the NPA stated that the leaking of Matos affidavit undermines the administration of the justice. The 70-page witness statement, which includes an exorcism totaling 263 pages and it took about three weeks to draft, went viral on social media a day after Matos was sentenced to 15 years in prison by the Houghton High Court in Pretoria. Despite the NPA intention to investigate the leak and consider legal actions, Zuma Sambudla expressed her skepticism on social media by stating, We don't trust you. NEPA spokesperson advocate Imtuzi Mhanga condemned the leak as unlawful, noting that it endangers individuals involved in the investigation and the prosecution. The NEPA has instructed the Director of Public Prosecution in Pretoria to conduct a thorough investigation in a collaboration with the Directorate of Priority Crime Investigation to hold those responsible accountable. Minister in the Presidency Kumbuzo Chavain is speaking ahead of the two-day Cabinet Lagola meeting in Pretoria, emphasized the government's desire to see those responsible for the collapse of VBS Mutual Bank Jail, though the meeting itself did not discuss the case. Matozi, who pleaded guilty to corruption, theft, fraud, money laundering, and locateering as a part of player deal, has implicated EFF leaders Julius Malema and Flodish Vambu, and the former National Treasury Director General Dondo Mugojane in the VBS scandal. Matozi alleged that Malema and Jivambu were aware that the fund they received from VBS were unlawful and that they used a front company, Sigameka Project, to receive this payment. Malema and Shivambo have not commented on these allegations, with Malema only sharing a cryptic message on social media. Matoz also accused Mogojani of accepting a bribe to withdraw a letter from the National Treasury instructing municipalities to stop depositing funds and withdraw investment from the VBS bank. Mogojani denied these allegations, asserting his integrity and dedication during his 23 years as a public servant. Matoz and several VBS officials, including former Chief Financial Officer Philip Tuta, were arrested in June 2020. Truta was sentenced to 10 years in prison in 2020 after admitting guilty to charges of fraud, corruption, money laundering, and locateering.